sound of voices too. The sound of me singing with you, helping each other to make it through. This is the sound of voices too. This is the sound of voices too. Good afternoon and welcome to our little concert recital here. We are so excited and overwhelmed actually by your support of being here. I've always encouraged my students when I was teaching to make singing a lifelong activity and now uh, I'm able to not only say it but I can do it and it is a pleasure and an inspiration to be on stage with them today and, and experience this lifelong singing with them. Um, so we hope you enjoy our eclectic mix of literature today. The next piece, a Pergolesi's, from Pergolesi's Mass Stabat Mater, is one of his most celebrated works. The first movement, Stabat Mater Dolorosa, is in reference to the suffering of Jesus and the suffering of his mother Mary. Pergolesi wrote this when he was 26 in the final weeks of his life. That will be followed by I Am In Love, which is a sorrowful, bitter love song in a non-traditional tonality or scale. It is in the, for those of you who know such things, the Dorian mode.
The, the uh, next piece includes lyrics or the text from a poem of Emily Dickinson, who's one of the most important figures in American poetry. This was uh, published just after her death, and I read that she, of 1,800 poems she wrote, only 10 or 12 of them were ever published in her lifetime. So what a shame. This piece, Will There Really Be a Morning, is about the act of imagining unknown things and unknown places. The High Women is an American country music supergroup composed of Brandi Carlisle, Natalie Hemby, Maren Morris, and Amanda Shires. Formed in 2019 and they only made one recording. Shires had the idea to create this female country supergroup as, an, as homage to the Highwaymen. And 
she also, or the composer, sorry, the composer said she wrote this to send a message to the country music industry about their lack of inclusion. And of course the lyrics speak of welcoming all to the table and is universal. This won the 2020 Grammy Award for Best Country Song. The next piece, Never One Thing, um, was composed by Grand Rapids native May Erlewine. And the arranger, Corey Brown, says she was inspired to arrange this song in response to the Walt Whitman verse, I am large, I contain multitudes.
Thank you. <laughs> I could say a few things, but I'm not going to. <laughs> so as we come to the end of this, um, this performance today, we are grateful that you are here, so grateful, and we hope you've enjoyed this performance. If you're so inclined, there's a little free will basket on the counter outside, and we have coffee and lemonade. Coffee, right? <laughs> lemonade and cookies as well. Please, please, please. I think we have lots of cookies out there. So we're going to finish with um, a little bit of help from you, I hope, and a little bit of help from some friends. And this is the song, Sing. And it is one of the theme songs for the children's TV show, Sesame Street. And I, I'm sorry to say that none of these singers were familiar with that song, which means they never watched Sesame Street. I was shocked. I thought, oh good, they, they know this song. They'll just like snap and they claim they never heard it before. So I hope you've heard it before. There's some lyrics on the back of your program and I'll give you the big cue. Um, so yeah, um, we invite you to sing and whistle, please. There's some la la's and if you feel so inclined to whistle or do whatever makes you happy because, <laughs> because um, after all, just sing, right? Just sing. So thank you so much for being here today. We um, appreciate it very much. This has been a lot of fun. These are very inspiring, I was going to say young people, maybe they don't want to be called young people anymore, but um, they're, they're very inspiring and it has just been a joy and we, we hope to continue this endeavor in some form or another and I hope that you can come and hear us sing again, so thank you. <laughs> <laughs>